Hi everyone, this is Marie Elaine. Um, in honour of the second black moon for this uh, 2014, I thought I'd do another special reading. For those of you that are unfamiliar with the black moon, it signifies two new moon phases in one calendar month. The first one is on the 1st of March and the second one will fall on the 30th of March. So it's a wonderful time to focus on your dreams. There's a lot of mystical energy around during a black moon because they are just so rare. And I and because it's in the month of Pisces, and this is just my intuition working here, that I believe that it's a, a time of inward reflection. It's a time to actually start going deep within yourself and starting to listen to that voice that's wanting to speak to you. And we have been conditioned over time to dismiss that internal guidance that we were born with. But now I believe we're entering a time of humanity where we're actually starting to recognize and acknowledge how powerful that little voice is. And once we start tuning into it, how different our world is going to be. So what I'm doing is I'm going to pull three cards to, and actually I'll do four, one for each week of March, to see um, what the cards would like us or is going to share with us what we can do to enhance our personal power during this period. And on the 30th, write your letter. Write a letter to the universe. And the first card we have is, well, here we go. It's the Emperor card. And this is um, in relation to a lot of masculine energy. Um, time of um, ruling wants to come to my mind. But I, I see that not as a... Um, as an authority putting down, it's um, about you stepping up and becoming ah, you stepping up and becoming um, aware of your own personal masculine energy, which is a little bit of authority. So speaking up for yourself and feeling confident and um, proud of who you are. Oh, I like that one. So let's see what number two has to say for us. Oh, <laughs> so the second week is all about. Uh, balance and harmony so once we we're feeling more certain about ourselves and we, we're really starting to come to I know it sounds like a cliche but who we really are being confident in our own skin you're going to find that there's a uh, peace and harmony is going to transcend over you and I believe that because we're going to start listening to this internal voice that we're not going to sweat the small stuff so much. We're just going to let it slide. And that's where the harmony is going to start flowing into our world. Now, third card. Well, someone like me, this is quite a bonus. Um, there's going to be an influx of um, material, materiality. Things that we've been desiring for so long and maybe noticing that we haven't got. Well, I see this card, if we follow these first two um Two recommendations, you know, stepping in, being comfortable with who you are, finding peace and harmony. We're actually allowing all of those things that we have created through our desires to maybe start flowing to us easily. So let's, um, let's see what happens here. Now the fourth week is building up to this wonderful black moon energy. So we now have oh, new love energy. So that's really cool. So what this card signifies to me is that um, it could... It's the beginning of a new love, beginning of um, a new passion. So it could be if you're um, looking for romance, it may signify a new romance is going to walk into your world. Or it could be an idea that gets you really fired up and passionate about. It could be, um, or it could be anything, anything new, anything that you're actually passionate about. And I think that's really, really, really beautiful. So on the 30th, take note write your letter to the universe, put your desires out there, meditate when you can, um, daily would be ideal, just for 10 minutes, but if you can't find that time, at least once a week, but do whatever you can to capture this beautiful, um, powerful, inward reflection time, okay, and enjoy this month of March, it really is, um, I'm calling it Magical Mystery March, okay, everyone, take care, bye.